NPWS is a national public warning system. It's part of the IPAWS, the Integrated Public Alert and Warning System of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. IPAWS is there to support the development of alert and warnings to the public to run something called IPAWS Open, which is the interchange or the transactional processing uh, tool that's used for getting uh, information out to cell phones, to the internet, and to radio and television and cable for emergencies and uh, disaster alerts. The NPWS is a tool that can be used mainly after an emergency has happened. It is the resilient, survivable part of the integrated public alert and warning system. It has a substantial amount of power resiliency through the use of several generators at each site, uh, abundant amount of fuel uh, for up to 60 days of interrupted operation, resiliency and protection against things like high altitude electromagnetic pulse, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear uh, attacks, uh, and a number and a host of different uh, protective items that are used in a wide array of hazards. We build these National Public Warning System features into AM and FM radio stations in order to have a pathway of communication to the public. Through AM radio, we can cover millions and millions of people from a single broadcast, which makes this so attractive uh, uh, and, and meeting the needs of people and keeping them informed. The other thing is, with AM broadcast, it's a free service that's available to everyone. And so when we talk about ensuring that uh, people have equal access to information, what better way to do it than through broadcast radio? Doesn't require any subscription, it's free, no one has to pay for it, and it's probably the most up-to-date and accurate information that you can get because it's, because it's coming from trusted public safety, safety officials and emergency managers in your community. FEMA partners with a number of radio stations throughout the country to provide the service to the public. We work with private sector radio stations. They allow us to come in and install packages of resilient equipment, shelters such as the one we're in right now, uh, communications gear such as transmitters and other items that are needed to keep that radio station and voice on the air. Hawaii's broadcasters' relationship with FEMA has been outstanding through this process to, to build this facility. And, and oftentimes when you build these facilities in, in various jurisdictions around the country, it can be challenging from permitting to any number of other issues that come up. Um, we're very appreciative of FEMA's resilience through all of this process uh, and their desire to, to provide this much needed facility for the state of Hawaii. Um, it wouldn't have happened without their drive and desire to make this happen in this community and their understanding of the value that they're able to provide to local communities such as ours. That sunlight represents to us in Hawaii life. It represents ola. And that's what this place also represents is life and the preservation of life for all of us. So I'd like you guys all to just feel a little bit of that warmth. I'm gonna just mahalo ke for that sun. Again, as it brings life to this place and to all of us in Hawaii. Ne. I'm gonna do a little pule, a little oli, and then we'll do the blessing.